what's going on welcome back to real world tool reviews and i'm sorry if there's a little bit of background noise right now i got church bells going and the birds are chirping it's a beautiful new year's day on the day that i'm shooting this um i got a new tool a pb swiss tool as you might have deduced from the description i am very impressed so impressed in fact that i decided just to make a whole video about this tool and about these tools in general which is bit holder screwdrivers bit holder handles i guess really bit holder screwdrivers because handles that's another rabbit hole we could go down but i have had this brand of tools pb swiss suggested to me many many times in the comments and it's a it's a brand that i have never seen in my life before i have never seen somebody using a pb swiss tool in my life in person i've never seen one of these in person i've seen them on videos on youtube and i've heard people talking about them in the videos and i've had many people suggest them in the comments but I've always been like, man, those are some expensive tools. I never see anyone using them, and I don't know where to even buy them. Um, and there's some different websites you can get them from, I guess. But they got them on. They got a few of these PB Swiss tools on Amazon. So I figured I'd dip my toe in the water and get this Insider, the Pocket Insider. And man, I have to say that I am. I'm very much impressed with this tool. It reminds me of, like, it's a pocket tool, you know? It's kind of a, a very small, you know, everyday, almost like a everyday carry kind of tool. Um, I don't really like to put a tool like this in my pocket, but if I did, this would be kind of one that you would do. But what it reminds me of is a smaller version of my Klein right here. Now I've got a review on this Klein one. I've loved this screwdriver for a long time, ever since I got it. Had it for a while. And what's great is it always drops a bit. That's what I hate about it, first of all. But it holds a lot of bits. Even though every time you open it, it drops at least one. It holds lots of them. And it's got a spinny back. So the back part spins, you know, you can, when you're pressing up on something, you can spin it like this with one hand, which uh, I'll, I talk about in the video of my review of this tool, why it helps in certain situations, you know, and the design, the only thing that this has that the PB Swiss doesn't have is it's uh, extendable or whatever, but this thing is similar to that. In that it has a spinny back and it stores bits. It doesn't store as many bits, obviously. It's a smaller screwdriver. Um, but the bits that come in this thing, the PB Swiss bits, are super, super nice. I like that they're kind of color coded. You know, when you pay uh, as much as this thing costs, you know, this is like a $50 little screwdriver, which is pretty damn steep if you ask me but the bits that come in here are i have to say very very nice and when you pay as much as you pay for something like this you hope that it works good now this is a number two phillips bit and i have to say that when i put a screw on it it is about as good of a fit as i've ever felt you know, this is just, I mean, all, a lot of different Phillips are going to be different, but this particular one fits really good on this, like better than, I think this Klein, this is actually a bit that came with this Klein and it's, it's wobblier. This PB Swiss bit, it is a real good connection. And that magnet is crazy. Like, I don't know what it is. I guess just because this thing's so damn expensive, they could afford to get a good magnet <laughs> because it is way stronger than 
even this Klein, which has a pretty strong one. This uh, Weera, it's got a strong one. It's got a very strong one. And one of the strongest, as a matter of fact, is the Craftsman. The Vintage Craftsman, made in the USA. It's got a good, strong one. And I've been, these have been my go to's forever. And you know, that's a pretty strong connection. But with this bit, this uh, PB Swiss bit, man, it's nice. It is freaking nice. So I'm very happy with that. I'm, I'm into this. I think this is going to be a good one. And the other thing that I love about this PB Swiss is I love this acetate handle. You know, this is like right up my alley. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that when it comes to screwdriver handles, this type of handle is my favorite. The hard plastic acetate handle. Um, I can see myself getting the longer version of this because, man, this is really sweet. It really is. Now, I've kind of opened up to this style you know, I for the longest, I didn't really like anything except my go-tos right here. And that's, uh, I actually picked up this Craftsman not too long ago at an estate sale. But I have this Craftsman, which is the one I've had for years and years and years. It lives right here on my workbench. And I've had it for uh, pretty much the whole time I've been using tools. I've had this. And it's been my go-to. These two, this SK has been my go-to for years too. And this is just, you know, a long one and a short one. I liked just the regular handle bit holder. If I was going to use something like this, this is what I always use. And then I opened up to some of Klein's stuff and I got this thing. And when I did that, it kind of opened up a new world of ones that hold bits and stuff. Um, and even though this one always drops a damn bit, it is very useful and also very handy to have around your screw gun um, because you can put it, you know, you can take this out and you can put this in the screw gun or just having one that, uh, that stores bits, you know, you have your screw gun, you've got a bit holder, and, you know, let's say you need a T15 real quick, you're working on an appliance or something, you put that in your screw gun, and you're good to go. And I'm actually going to probably make a video right after this about screw gun and screwdriver bit setups. <laughs> so, that'll probably be in the future. but that has become a really um, important tool for me. You know, I keep, I like to have screwdrivers like this in different setups uh, in, in unison with a little screw gun like this or an impact driver that has this quarter inch chuck. So, you know, that's just a really cool thing. And then I've, since I started the channel and started kind of getting some different stuff I've been I've picked up a couple things like one of the first ever tool haul videos that I did I got this Weera and this one's pretty good it it holds a few bits and it ratchets now I'm not the biggest ratcheting screwdriver fan but and the 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 way that this one is this one I don't I've not been a huge fan of it since I bought it because of how big the handle is like I love the Weera style handles but on the standard screwdrivers they're you know a little smaller and just a little nicer you know like here's my My number two Phillips right here. This one I really like. This is like, fits my hand good. But it, the ratcheting one, it just makes it fatter and not as comfortable at all. So, 
I'm not a huge fan of the ratcheting because of that. Or it's actually not because of the ratcheting. It's just because of the bit storage. Um, that just makes it fat. Even though the Klein is like that, it's fat too. But it just, I don't know. Maybe it's because of the spinny part that it doesn't, it just doesn't seem as cumbersome and as annoying as this is. So, so I got that. And, and this is cool still if I need a long ratcheting screwdriver, which I never do. But this is nice to have in the shop. Just It's basically just a tool that I, I use on occasion. And you got to have tools that you just use on occasion. Um, I've picked up a few of these uh, just for, I, I actually had these before, but I picked this one up recently. It's a good one. They're, uh, they're the bit holding or just the, the screw on the end bit chamber ones with a, with a magnetic end. And these are nice too. If you like, if you have something that you work on, like a certain appliance that you work on and it uses a couple torques and a couple things like that, you can throw them in here and just have this dedicated to that in a little bag. If you do that a lot, you know, I've had situations like that before where I, I like one time I put security torques in, in a screwdriver like this for a while because I was working on uh, fire alarm stuff a bunch. So, you know, you can kind of customize these and they're just real simple, you know, hold some bits in the handle, still just a regular nice handle with a magnetic bit holder. And then you got uh, this one, which is a unique one. This is the Pickwick. This was another screwdriver that I bought pretty much just because you guys suggested it to me. And I keep this one in my office at work. I just grabbed it because I knew I was going to make this video. And every once in a while at work, you know, people know I'm the, I'm the maintenance guy. Um, so I'm always the guy that ends up working on something when something breaks in the office. And this one's been nice. It is not magnetic though. That's the one thing about this is you put these long bits, the bits that it holds are not magnetic, even though it, it holds it in by magnet, but it's, it's, uh, it's long. So the, the tip out here is barely magnetic. So, you know, and I like to have a magnetic screwdriver if I can. Now what you can do is you can take a magnetic bit holder and stick it in there. You know, you can use a shorter one than this. This is just the one I have right now, make it long. And it actually does work because it's deep down in here. You can't put this. I'm not going to do this because I feel like I'd have to, I might get it lost in there, but it's too deep, but you can't put like a, a one inch bit. You could put a two inch bit. Maybe that might work. Matter of fact, I'm going to try that here just to, just to show what that would be like maybe on here. Yeah. So you could do a two inch bit and that makes it a little more magnetic, but still not not magnetic enough. So really you need to put a, a bit holder in it. Like, uh, like this is the one that I would use and that, that makes it work. Okay. It doesn't make it too long. Pretty much is just a nice little extension. Not bad. So this is a good one to have too in unison with a screw gun because you know, you have this, if you had this, you now have some long bits that you can put in your screw gun. And sometimes you need a long one that's not magnetic or that's not on a bit holder because it, these are fatter. And, you know, sometimes you need to get down in somewhere with your screw gun actually all the time. So I always want to have longer ones. So that's another reason that uh, one that holds long bits is actually pretty unique and pretty cool. So as I've worked over the years, I've kind of evolved from only liking these because I felt like fatter ones that stored bits were annoying. I always thought they were annoying, but this one kind of opened my eyes to them. And I still, I still always have these because 
I love them and I do use them still, especially this. Like if I need a magnetic bit, I'm just going to grab this and, and use this most of the time anyway, especially in the shop and stuff. But this one on the go as a maintenance guy has been really good. So this PB Swiss, I think is going to, whoops, this PB Swiss, I think is going to make a great little brother to this Klein. And I think I'm going to put this in my new setup that I'm going to make, which is not really a new setup. It's just going to be kind of a rounding out of, I've got a little bag that I've been using uh, all the time and it keeps my screw gun and like my, my little handyman case and my everyday tool pouch, you know, my little essential hand tools. Um, stuff like that is in this bag that I've been using, just a, a little tote bag. And I think this will be good to go in there so that I'll have some bits for the screw gun and so that I'll have a really nice little magnetic uh, pocket screwdriver in case I need to throw it in my pocket and go up on a ladder or something like that, you know. So, I'll be working on that video next, I think, and I think I'll be enjoying it. I think this little PB Swiss, it almost even looks like it's related to the Klein, you know. Look at it. It's kind of like, it's almost like they were meant to be together. So, big brother and little brother, bit storage, magnetic screwdrivers. Pretty cool. I'm excited to have this PB Swiss, and even though they cost a lot, I think that it might be worth it. I think this is a really uh, neat tool. So, anyway, thanks for watching.